Okay, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So let's start. Thank you. For, thank you all for joining this session on SAP S4 HANA predictive accounting. Okay, so what are we going to do in this session is we are going to understand what exactly is predictive accounting, when actually it was introduced, what are the configurations required to perform the predictive accounting, and what is a complete process. Okay, so before I start, let me introduce myself. As I can see, there are uh, many of my old students who join, but there are other guys also who are uh, listening to me for the first time. So my name is Vikram and I am uh, I worked as SAP S4 HANA consultant from last three to four years when SAP started this uh, new product. I'm giving this trainings from uh, again from last three years. So I started providing the training starting from SAP uh, Simple Finance 1503, then S4 HANA 1511, then whatever new versions came. And now uh, I'm taking care of the latest version that is SAP S4 HANA 1909. Okay, so now let's focus on our topic today uh, that is SAP S4 HANA Predictive Accounting. So what I'll do is I will first take my time to explain the topic and at the end of the session, I will allow you guys to raise your question or whatever queries that you have. Okay, so what is predictive accounting now? Any, uh, maybe instead of asking you, let me give you the example. What, what do you mean by prediction? When you say prediction, prediction means based on our previous results, we want to predict what would be our future. Okay, so let's take an example of any company which is doing the business from last 10 years or five years or something like that. Now, if they want to know what is going to be our revenue in the coming months or what is going to be our revenue in the coming years, so that is nothing but prediction. So you are predicting your results based on the previous results that you got over the years. But when we are talking about predictive accounting that is in SAP S4 HANA, we are not talking about those predictive results. We are not talking about the predictions that we are making based on our previous results. Okay, so that needs to be very clear. What is predictive accounting in SAP S4 HANA? It is not the prediction that we are making based on our previous results, it is something different. We'll talk about what is different in S4 HANA predictive accounting. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. So in order to understand the predictive accounting, let's take this example. Now you can see here, this is a time axis. Okay, just give me a minute. Yeah, so this is a time axis and you can see this is a period. Maybe I need to, uh, just give me a minute. Yes. So this is a time axis and you can see in this time axis, there is a period end. So let's consider today is the last day of the month, right? We are uh, here on 31st of October, 2019. So you must be knowing that for the business, this date is very important because they need to carry out all their reportings for the month of October. Okay, so over next few days, maybe two, two days, five days, they'll be concentrating on finalizing the results of the previous month, okay, which is October. So what is happening currently is companies are focusing, when we say about financial reporting, what are financial reportings? Financial reportings are normally talking about what has happened in the previous month, what has happened in the previous period. So instead of focusing on what is going to happen in the next month, when we say normal period accounting, it focuses on the period which is already closed. So you can see this example, the period accounting is something which is before where we are standing today. Okay, so let's say for the month of October, whatever we are carrying out is nothing but period accounting. Okay, so you have some products and based on which you want to know what is my revenue, what is my profit over the previous month. Okay, but when we're talking about predictive accounting, in predictive accounting, we are not focusing on what has happened already. We are focusing on what is going to happen over the next month or over the next year. Okay, but again, this is more of next month rather than the year. I'll tell you why. When we are talking about SAP predictive accounting, you cannot plan for many years. 
in future you only can plan for some months in the future so why because there are normally two types of predictive accounting okay i'm not talking about sap now i'm talking about the general terms when we say prediction if i want to do the prediction prediction can be either top down prediction what is top down prediction i give you the example if i want to plan my future based on the historical data so let's say i want to know what is going to be my next month revenue based on what revenue i earned over the next or over the previous two years so that is called as top down prediction but as i told you sap is not talking about the top down prediction sap is focusing on bottom up prediction why because in sap whatever predictive accounting we are going to do that is going to be based on the business processes that we follow in the previous month okay just to take a example if you see the example slide here what we are talking about is prediction of accounting documents based on incoming sales orders so this is nothing but predictive accounting now what does it mean it means let's take a simple example when we talk about revenue all the revenues which is coming in sap it is coming mainly from sales module right from the sales and distribution module sd module now let's say we are in 31st of october today in october we already created some sales orders right in the october month there are lot of sales orders which are already created but they are still not delivered and they are still not invoiced okay so if there are already sales orders created in the october month which are already confirmed and they need to be delivered in the month of november and maybe they need to build in the month of december so looking at the sales orders itself we can tell we can at least predict what is going to be our sales for the next months next two months okay so what would be my total cogs for the month of november and what would be my total billing in the month of december that i can easily say based on the incoming sales orders that i have today so when we talk about sap predictive accounting sap predictive accounting takes into consideration the incoming sales orders so the overall predictive accounting is based on the incoming sales orders in sap as for hana okay this is a completely new topic it was only introduced in 1809 that is last year sap introduced this predictive accounting based on incoming sales orders from last year itself okay so this is the example if you see the next one you can see the sales order was created in the month of october okay and for this sales order the delivery is still not done the billing is still not done but we are expecting that the delivery would be done in the month of november and the billing will be done in the month of december so now itself we can clearly tell that what would be our cogs value in the next month and what would be our sales value in the next month now obviously there might be one question in your mind that there might be some new sales orders which should be created in the month of november and december that is absolutely correct right so we are not saying whatever we are predicting it is 100% correct what we are predicting is totally based on what is the information available today whatever is going to change in november and december that nobody knows right but we are only predicting whatever is confirmed as of today right so this is confirmed we already have the sales order the quantities are already confirmed they need to be delivered in this month and they need to build in this month so these are already confirmed but apart from that whatever is going to happen in the next month that we are not talking about in the predictive accounting based on incoming sales orders here right so this is what is predictive accounting so based on the sales orders we need to determine what is going to be our uh, goods issue prediction and what is going to be our invoice predictions in the coming months now how are you going to take care of them in the sap system how are you going to make sure that these things are delivered in the sap system okay the first thing is am i going to do any accounting entry for prediction if i ask you a simple question in ecc when i once i create a sales order this delivery document will be created only in the month of november so accounting entry will be created only in the month of november right 
we don't need to create the accounting entry in this month this accounting entry will be created only in the month of november similarly the accounting entry for the billing document will be only created in the month of december so if this delivery and invoice is going to be created in future at this point of time how can i predict the delivery and billing i will be only able to predict the delivery and billing if the accounting document is already posted but i am not posting any accounting document here right so in sap s4 hana what is going to happen is as soon as you create a sales order okay this is very important as soon as you create a sales order system will automatically generate the delivery accounting document and the billing accounting document okay and that too in the month of november and december but is it correct we have still not delivered the material and we are creating a delivery document we are creating the accounting document of delivery similarly we have still not done the billing we are going to do it in december then how can we book the accounting document today this is against the auditors right this is against the legal compliances we cannot book the accounting documents in advance the accounting documents will be only booked once that transaction is complete this transaction is still not complete but if it but if we don't book if we don't book the accounting document then we will not be able to do the prediction so these are two contradictory things one side we cannot book the accounting documents till the time the doc, the transactions are complete on the second side if we don't book the accounting documents then we will not be able to make the prediction so what is the solution solution is extension ledgers in sap s4 hana sap delivered extension ledgers in sap s4 hana what exactly are extension ledgers so although we are going to book this accounting documents today itself although we are going to book this accounting documents even if the transaction is not complete but we are not going to book this accounting documents in our main ledger we are not going to book this accounting documents in our leading ledger we are not going to touch our leading ledger 0l what we are going to do then we are going to book this accounting documents in a separate ledger called as extension ledger okay so extension ledger is also one of the new concept with sap s4 hana which will allow you to book the accounting documents without touching your main ledger that is 0l okay so one side you are able to do the predictive accounting because you are booking the accounting documents second good thing is even if i am booking the accounting document it is not touching my legal compliance reporting my legal compliance is not getting affected at all right so this is the reason why if you want to use the predictive accounting definitely we need to create a predictive ledger which is a extension ledger in sap s4 hana okay so how are you going to do that so these are the configurations there are only few configurations that you need to make for predictive accounting number one is you need to define the ledgers so you can see this is where you will be defining the extension ledgers okay so you might be i think most of you are coming from sap ecc background so i don't need to explain what is ledgers some of you i can see uh, some of my previous students who are undergoing the training on sap uh, s4 hana from scratch so for you this might not be very easy to understand as of now but i'll make sure that you understand when we we'll talk about this topic once again okay but for some of you who are coming from the experience background you must be knowing that in sap ecc there was no concept of extension ledgers this extension ledger is something which is introduced now for the first time in sap simple finance and sap s4 hana okay in addition to extension ledgers again whenever you are creating extension ledger you need to tell the system that this particular ledger i am going to use for the prediction purpose for the predictive accounting okay so the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a separate ledger okay which will be created as the extension ledger with extension ledger type as prediction ledger okay so this is the first configuration second configuration you need to tell the system that which prediction ledger are you going to use for predictive accounting so just creation is not enough even if you create 
prediction ledgers here if you don't do this configuration system will assume that you created the prediction ledgers here but they are not being used productively if you want to use that particular ledger for the predictive accounting you have to do this configuration so you have to go to this table and you have to make sure that that particular ledger is assigned here okay third one is for a particular controlling area okay so it is not necessary that you will be activating the predictive accounting for each and every controlling area let's say you have 10 controlling areas in your system and you want to activate predictive accounting only for two controlling areas out of that so this is a place this is a transaction code which will allow you to activate the predictive accounting for a particular controlling area so you can see in this example i activated the predictive accounting for controlling area ts01 okay and you can see for other controlling areas some of the controlling areas it is still inactive okay next one is you have to tell the system which sales order is relevant for predictive accounting okay so if i am creating you, you must be knowing in sap sd there are different sales order types okay so whenever you are creating the sales order if you want to tell the system that yes this particular sales order will go for predictive accounting and this particular sales order type i don't want to consider in the predictive accounting that can be done by specifying here which sales order type is activated for predictive accounting and which particular sales order is not activated for predictive accounting same way the last one is the item category so in sap sd again whenever you are creating the sales order in the sales order every material what you are going to enter in the lines it is assigned to the item category so again within the sales order some of the items you want to consider in the predictive accounting and some of the items you can say i don't want to consider as into the predictive accounting okay so i'll show you this example practically in the system but before that let me summarize the process steps so what are we going to do in the system we are going to create a sales order okay and we are going to see at the creation of sales order whether system is generating the accounting documents or not how are we going to see whether the system is going to generate the accounting documents or not we can go to new table this is again a new table called as universal journal table in sap s for hana ac doc a so we can easily go to table ac doc a and find out whether the sales order that we have created has generated the accounting documents or not okay if yes then fine if no we are going to go to aif monitor okay i'll tell you what is aif monitor if you find that you have done all the configuration correctly you have created the sales order but it is still not flowing to table ac doc a it is still not creating the accounting document in the prediction ledger then how are you going to find out what is wrong where exactly system is not able to create the accounting document so you can go to this transaction code there it will clearly tell you why your sales order is not able to generate the accounting document what is stopping the sales order to generate the accounting document there might be errors right so maybe system is not able to derive the gl account the account determination is not done properly maybe the period is closed that is the reason system is not able to generate the accounting document so whatever is the reason you can easily go to this transaction code and find out why a particular particular sales order is not able to generate the accounting document okay so let me show you this things directly in the system let me connect to the system okay so let me connect to 1809 okay and first let me show you the configurations whatever configurations i explained you number one is i need to go to spro 
and i will just show you where exactly you are going to create the prediction ledger so financial accounting financial accounting global settings ledgers ledger okay and define settings for ledgers and currency types this is a configuration which will allow you to create different type of ledgers so by default whenever you are implementing a new sap s4 hana system by default you will only get one ledger that is 0l okay and that is not extension ledger that is a normal standard leading ledger so apart from that standard leading ledger sap allows you to create the ledgers as per your requirements so you can either create a normal ledger or you can create a extension ledger okay and when you are creating the extension ledger again within extension ledger there are multiple types so for this particular purpose you are going to create the extension ledger with extension ledger type prediction and commitment okay it is taking more time than usual because there are a lot of uh, users who are working on this server so you can see this is a standard delivered 0l leading ledger apart from this in our example we created the ledger t7 as the prediction ledger you can see this is a prediction ledger okay so t7 this is a name this is a extension ledger and here we have specified that this is the extension ledger for type prediction and commitments okay so this is the first configuration that you need to do now second is there are some configurations which are relevant to table level so if i go to sm30 these are the three tables maybe i'll be able to see yes these are the three tables where you need to maintain the settings number one is this is where you will be telling the system that this predictive ledger is productive which means whenever i am be creating the sales order i want the values to flow to this ledgers okay so in our case it is there are four ledgers which will get the values from the predictive accounting but don't concentrate on others as of now in our example let's concentrate on t7 itself okay this is first thing there are other tables also so let me remove this first one and check which are the other tables so this is this is the second one which is for the item category okay this too i'll explain you what is this item category same way there is third table which is for sales order type okay which is this one last one so this is for sales order type okay so let's take this example let's say i want to create a sales order so you know normally we use transaction ba01 to create a sales order even in sap s4 hana if you are using this traditional gui you will be using the same transaction va01 on top of that you can also use sap fiori to carry out all your transactions okay so i am concentrating on traditional gui so i'll go to transaction va01 so this is a screen from where you create a sales order so whenever you create a sales order system ask you what is the sales order type so in our example we activated the predictive accounting for sales order type or we are not activated for any other sales order type and that is the reason system will only generate the predictive accounting documents if the sales order type is or okay so let's take this order type or click on create with a reference okay instead of creating the sales order from scratch i will just copy one of the sales order okay and click on copy just confirm this quantity as of now so let's say i am creating the sales order which needs to be delivered on first of let's say november okay so i am creating this on the 31st october okay but i am going to deliver this material in the next month so what should happen is system should automatically create the accounting document on this particular date the delivery document should be created automatically on this particular date even if i am not creating the delivery and billing of this sales order now okay so this is a required delivery date i will just enter some customer reference and try to save this 
sales order. Uh, okay, so there is some warning. Let me double click on this. Okay, so this is order type and this is the item category. I told you there is another table which we maintain. This is sales order type. I'm saying this sales order type is relevant for predictive accounting. Similarly, there was another table if you remember, which is relevant to the item category. So this is a place where I'm telling the system that this item category is also relevant for the predictive accounting, which means even in my sales order, this item category will also get checked. So if there is any other item category, then maybe the predictive accounting document will not get generated. Okay, so let me double click again here, go to schedule lines. Okay, just wanted to make sure that the delivery date is 01-11-2019. Okay, click on okay and try to save this particular sales order. No need to worry about this. This is a credit management check, which is also changed in S4 HANA, but again, we will focus on this topic maybe in another session. So just click on continue. And the sales order number has been created. Sales order has been created. So if I go to the sales order, so although we have not generated any delivery, we have not done any billing of this particular sales order, but still it would have created the accounting document for the predictive accounting. How can we check that? So as I told you, we can go to the table level directly. We can go to table AC doc A, which is a new table, which is also called as universal journal document table. AC doc A, okay, universal journal line item table. So here I created this sales order for company code TS01 and I want to know in ledger T7, whether the lines are created for sales order number T72. Okay, let's try to execute and see. Okay, so I can see there are a lot of documents which are created in T7 for company code TS01, but we want to focus on sales order number 372 so this is a sales order number you can see so the first one itself first four lines are relevant to sales order number 372 okay why four lines there are two lines for delivery document you can see this okay you can see this wl is nothing document type wl is for delivery and document type rv is for sales order billing so two documents are created for delivery. So delivery is going to take place on 1st of November and billing also in this case is going to happen on 1st of November. So you can see the posting date, but you can see the document number. This is not a actual document number. This is just a statistical number. Why? Because this document is not generated in your main ledger. It is not touching your main legal reporting. It is just giving you the extension based on this extension ledger T7. Okay, so how are you going to check this document? How are you going to go and see how this document is posted? So what you can do is you can simply go to the FS 10 n report to check the balances. Now I want to know the revenue for the month of November. Okay, so revenue GL is which one? One of this line would be revenue itself. So one of this line, the billing line would be revenue. Let's go and see which are the accounts which are posted here. So these are the accounts. I think 3001 is revenue GL account. So if I go to revenue GL account. 3001. Okay, and I want to know the balance for company code TS01 for fiscal year 2019. Okay, if I execute this, you can see in the month of November, it is showing me some 10,000, but this is not what we posted because I am currently seeing the report for leading ledger. Okay, so maybe someone has already posted here. That is the reason it is showing some 10,000. Let's double click and see. Okay, so this is coming from some other example. Okay, this is not relevant to us. 10,000. 
but now if i go for ledger i can change the ledger here and make it t7 okay and now if i execute this it is showing in the 11th month there are there is a sales of 15000 how 10000 is actual sales which is already posted in the leading ledger and 5000 is the additional one you can see this two are actual sales you can see the actual number they are posted in the leading ledger also but this which is starting from p this is a statistical number which is not posted in leading ledger this is just for the prediction purpose that is the reason it is starting with p this is just for the prediction purpose and it is showing you that there is a predicted value of 5000 in the month of november okay so if you want to see this document just click on this display document you can see so your revenue account has been credited and what is the corresponding gl account this must be customer account customer account has been debited okay and this is happening only for ledger t7 which means it is not touching your legal reporting at all this is just for your management reporting purpose okay so just to summarize what we discussed we discussed what is predictive accounting so prediction means what prediction hello, normally victor. hello yes yeah sorry for disturbing you uh, i have a doubt here because you mentioned that it gets posted in october itself no on 31st of october but that point has got posted in uh, november first no 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 first november that is the reason we are doing the prediction accounting right so our delivery is going to happen when we said the system that our delivery will happen in first of november right that is a, that will be actual delivery but now we are yes. predicting that that will happen that, that will be the actual delivery in november but the, so but we are, we are on 31st of october and now we are is now standing on today and we are we want to predict what is what is going to happen in november and we want to see on today date no it should get posted no, no, on no. today's date if it is happening see if it is happening in today's date then your reportings are wrong right then it is showing you that this is a sales for today uh, current month right no, is no, it a sales for that, that month no no but, but that will it will be shown in extension ledger it will not be shown in uh, reading ledger no 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 see that is correct what you are saying is you according to you you mean to say that this sales should be reflected in the current month but is it correct it is, current, is it a current current month? Month? current month in extension ledger that's what i'm saying no 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 current month in see current month is already finalized why should i keep the statistical results in the current month my current month is already closed no today is, no no. today is 31st yeah. today is 31st yeah today is 31st and we uh, are doing for the next month right but document is getting posted in uh, 11th month no but uh, i want to see uh, with the 31st date and that too in extension ledger instead of zero ledger we want to see the same posting in uh, extension ledger if this no. is showing in extension ledger in november then i think uh, no 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 what I, is the simple what is the meaning of prediction i want to know what would be my sales in the month of november i want to know what is what would be my sales in the month of december right so if i post everything in october itself extension then how will you categorize what is the sales of november and december okay. see on the one side we don't want to post anything in the november from the legal point of view from the other side because we want to know what is going to happen in the november we want to post accounting document in november that too which should not reflect my normal legal reporting and that is the reason this document is getting posted to november but in the extension ledger okay but that means while you are retrieving the reports we need to give the period 11 only not 10 exactly i want to know the i want to know the prediction for the november i don't want to know the prediction for october october is already closed i'm getting my real time reports in october okay okay i want to know okay, the prediction but... for november and december right yeah yeah got but i thought that uh, okay Uh, it will be posted in uh, this october only but it will be posted in uh, extension ledger like that i thought okay no no it will be posted in the month in which it is actually going to be delivered okay then then got okay now in the uh, that means once delivery is happen in november then extension ledger posting gets cancelled and the same postings will get posted in as actuals in zero l exactly so whatever has been posted in the extension ledger now this 1st of november is the prediction 
that this particular order would get delivered on this particular date so till the time you actually book the delivery it will show here in the extension ledger but once right. you make the actual delivery then it will flow to the leading ledger right right okay right, right. got it and it will get removed from the extension ledger right in you like that that means it's exactly like how you make provisions for expenses like on the basis of concept of prudence now we using the predictive ledger concept we are use we are doing the same for uh, revenues now exactly yes yeah accruals is allowed for expenses but accrual is not allowed for uh, revenues since it, because they are unless they are not realized we can't show in books so using this concept called predictive accounting we are we are getting the same um, benefit right yes yeah yeah Okay, so just maybe I'll uh, give you the time to ask the question, but let me just summarize what we just now discussed. So we started with what is predictive accounting. Predictive accounting means you are predicting the future results. Okay, this is a normal definition of prediction. You are predicting the future based on your historical data. Okay, but we are saying that when we are talking about SAP S4 HANA predictive accounting, which is delivered as a ledger, that is not based on the historical data. That is based on the incoming sales orders. Okay, which means based on the sales orders that you already created in your previous months, you are predicting what is going to be my COGS in the next month, what is going to be my uh, revenue in the next month, right? So when you are creating the sales order, you are telling the system that this is going to be my delivery date and this is going to be my billing date. So based on that, system is immediately when you create a sales order immediately system is creating the accounting document okay but this accounting document is not a legal document because legally you cannot book your revenue when the sales order is created you can only book the revenue when the transaction is complete just by creating the sales order your transaction is still not complete so you cannot book the revenue okay but in order to show the prediction you have to book the revenues and that is the reason sap has given you the option of predictive ledger which means even though the accounting document would be created it will not touch your normal legal reporting your normal legal reporting will still be done from ledger 0l and your predictions reporting would be done by using a predictive ledger which is a kind of extension ledger in sap okay so in any case maybe you have done all the configurations correctly Okay, you created a sales order, but you are still not able to see this document here. You are still not able to see your document in AC Doc A. So what should you do? So there is one last step that you need to follow if there is an error. You need to go for this AIF monitor. This is a transaction which will help you in understanding what is wrong, why system is not creating the accounting document for the sales order document that you posted. Okay, so what is AIF monitor? AIF monitor is a monitor which is picking the data from the sales orders and it is responsible for posting into the prediction ledger. So if any document is stuck, okay, if a document you created as a sales order but it is still not posted in the accounting, then you can come here and you can identify what is wrong with that particular order. Okay, so you can click on this. Okay, these are the list of different orders that are created so you can see uh, maybe this particular one is for which sales order just double click on this and it will tell you that this is sales order number 368 so there is something wrong with sales order 368 due to which this document is still not posted to accounts okay what is wrong you can see this is the error so system is not able to get the reference okay for document type rv Normally the reference field is mandatory, but system is not able to determine the reference and that is the reason it is throwing error. Okay, so in this particular case what we can do either we provide the reference or we can go to document type RV again It totally depends upon business if it is mandatory for them Then you have to provide the reference But just the example sake we can go to document type RV and we can make this field optional Okay, and I already done that and once you do the corrections, what you need to do is you need to select this line and you need to restart. Okay, so when you restart, if this error is resolved, you can see now there is no more error. The document is restarted and now if you go to 
the AC docket table, you will be able to see that this document is now posted in the extension ledger. So if you go to AC doc A for company code TS01 and ledger T7, we should be able to see sales order 368 here. Okay, you can see four lines are added. Earlier it was 38, now it is 42. So if you just go to the right side to find out if there is a document posted for 368, okay, you can see this last four lines. These are posted just now because there was one document, sales order was already created, but system was not able to post the accounting document. Why? Because of any XYZ reason. How will you know what is that XYZ reason? Whether the posting period is closed or there is something wrong with the document type or there is something wrong with the uh, fields that you have uh, mentioned as mandatory. Okay, so if that is the case, you can go to this transaction which is AIF monitor. Okay, and in AIF monitor, you will be able to clearly see what is wrong with that particular order. So you can rectify that error and then select your order and create the restart button. That is the only process that you need to follow. This is an interface monitor.